This is what it looks like when we try and inflate a non-pathological lung. So I've got a EVM that I'm filling up and you can see that it's quite easy for me to fill up this balloon with air using this BVM. But what if we had pathology like we often do is that we don't really use a BBM on patients that have good lungs. So what happens? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this balloon here with a bunch of shaving cream. And then we're going to try and ventilate through that. So I'm gonna get you to come in here and I want you to fill that up. Hold on, let me seal it. Okay, go. Holy mother of gosh. Okay, try again. Okay. We got it, somehow. <laughs> okay, so, okay, this happened again. We'll be right back, and then we're gonna actually ventilate this balloon. <laughs> okay, so we've secured the shaving cream filled balloon onto a ET tube, and we're gonna connect to the BBM here. And so let's see how much more difficult it is to ventilate. Oh, I can barely even get air through it. There we go. So sort of, I can get some air through it as you can see here, but it's quite difficult. There's a lot of fluid in there. So this can happen in pulmonary edema patients. It can happen in patients that are ROSC. It can happen in patients that have ARDS. They have a lot of immune cells and dead immune cells that are in there. So it's very difficult to ventilate through this. Now you'll notice that I don't have a PEEP valve on here. So let's use that PEEP valve, which is something that we often do when we have this type of pathology going on and see how much better I can ventilate. Oh yeah, that's much better. As you can see here, I can ventilate that balloon a little bit easier. On my expiration, I'm not losing as much of that recruitment and it makes oxygenation that much better. Not great because we still have a lot of pathological process in here, but so much better. So this is a good representation of why peep valves can be so important in pathology like this because it allows us to keep alveoli recruited and keep oxygenation going even we have fluid filled or immune process filled alveoli like we're seeing here.